What's up everyone? Welcome to Timograph where I teach you the tips, tricks, and techniques that I've learned over the years, as well as the ones that I'm currently learning as an artist. I am Timothy Santana. So a lot has been happening in the past couple of weeks. For those of you who don't know, uh, me and my wife finally got a place and we are moving. So uh, we're in the process of that. That would be the reason for this whole creepy look that's going on here, which I don't even know where I'm at and someone should probably call my wife because she's probably looking for me. But really, this was the only space that I could find uh, that was quiet enough for me to shoot the videos. Um, so, just trying to keep it flowing. But anyways, we're going to be getting into Photoshop now. And uh, I'm going to be showing you how to create this duotone effect uh, like you can find on uh, Spotify's website. And uh, a lot of the stuff that they do has been a big part of their, uh, their branding and their look um, in recent time. So, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, simply create this effect. And uh, today should be be a pretty quick bit, so um, let's get right into it. Tutorial. All right, so I've got this image that I took in Chicago. I've got this all loaded out in Photoshop. Now, uh, this is gonna be pretty simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the adjustments panel and we're going to select over here on the bottom right. Um, it's gonna say gradient map. Now, if you can't find this, you can find this over on the bottom, right over here, and just select it. Boom, gradient map. So we can adjust our gradient, and uh, even if I select this preset right here, you can see it already makes pretty much the effect that we're going for. And uh, we could just go ahead and fine tune it if we want. So that's basically it. We can go ahead, we could change this, uh, change some of the color here, get different looks. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much you know left up to you. And uh, the only thing you wanna kinda keep in mind is, um, which side is which, because you can sort of get this sort of inverted look, this sort of uh, this sort of negative kind of effect. So I've got this secondary project open in Photoshop. And um, this one, I just wanted to demonstrate what it would look like if you were to cut the subject out and replace the background, or if you're doing it during photography, but just to have a solid background. Um, this one's just white, and then I just apply the gradient map like you would, and it's just to uh, sort of demonstrate, you know, I guess a different kind of look um, uh, with, the, with the background at least. It creates a lot more contrast, I think. So uh, this is just to demonstrate that. But that's, um, that's pretty much it for this. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Anyone can do it. And that concludes our tutorial for today on how to create duotone photos. Um, if you liked it, found it interesting, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you didn't, uh, feel free to share it because sharing is caring. Also, uh, feel free to follow me, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Anywhere you can find me, uh, I'll leave some links in the description somewhere around here. But anyways, I am Timothy Santana. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. And until then, I will be fulfilling my childhood dreams.